welcome to another TA Tech Tip. In this tech tip, we'll be showing Nano ITC users how to backload their injection syringe using a micropipetter. The injection syringe of the Nano ITC can be loaded by either drawing solutions up through the bottom of the syringe or through loading into the back of the syringe using a micropipetter. The micropipetter allows a user to load less material and some find it easier to load as well. The injection syringe is first rinsed with the buffer that will be used in the experiment. Then it is blown out with air. After this, a sufficient volume of titrant is drawn up into the micropipetter. This solution is backloaded into the injection syringe. For this type of load, it is important to keep the injection syringe horizontal. After loading, the plunger is placed into the back of the injection syringe and the plunger is lowered to slightly above the 50 microliter mark on the glass. This can be done into a vial containing the titrant. If there is concern that there is an air bubble, the plunger can be pushed down further and the solution can be expelled and then drawn up again so that the plunger is once again above the 50 microliter mark. At this time, the glass injection syringe is lowered into the burette handle and screwed down snug. Now is also a good time to wipe down the outside of the injection syringe. The entire burette handle with the titration syringe is placed into the instrument where the titrant has been already loaded into the instrument. In this TA Tech Tip, we showed Nano ITC users how they can load their injection syringe using a micropipetter. Please stay tuned for more helpful tech tips from TA Instruments. And thank you for your interest.